Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 70 of the year 2021, appointing Sheikh Salman bin Isa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa as Central Bank of Bahrain CBB Deputy Governor with the rank of Under Secretary. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, hailed victorious Bahrain cycling team cyclist Sunny Colberly, winning second place in the uh, Dauphine cycling race that was held in France. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that the achievement of Sunny Colberly is an extension of the series of accomplishments made by the victorious Bahrain cycling team throughout the month of May, which extended to international participations, winning many titles. His Highness stated that the achievement and all participations will not stop as the team always strives to win top places. He added that the team achieved many goals in its previous participations, affirming that he will continue to support the team, which will continue to be successful in March in achieving visions and goals. His Highness Sheikh Nasser commended the efforts of cyclist Sunny Colberly in the race and the efforts of all the team members, wishing the team further success in the coming period. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Azayani, received at his office at the ministry today the GCC Secretary General, Dr. Nayef Falah Al Hajraf, and his accompanying delegation upon their official visit to Bahrain. The minister welcomed the GCC Secretary General, praising his tireless efforts to advance joint Gulf action and promote areas of joint cooperation, which comes in fulfillment of the aspirations of the leaders of the GCC countries, towers furthering Gulf cooperation and integration in various fields to cement the bind between GCC countries and people. Minister Azayani affirmed the noble directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and that of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in exerting all efforts and continuing to work to expand the joint Gulf action towers more achievements, the benefit of the citizens of the GCC countries by strengthening Gulf solidarity and cooperation in all fields. He also commended the positive outcomes obtained by the meetings of the councils and specialized ministerial committees to implement the decisions of the Supreme Council and the Ministerial Council and to enhance the joint Gulf action process, noting the sincere efforts made by the General Secretariat under the leadership of his Secretary General to, 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 of its Secretary General to consolidate joint cooperation relations between GCC countries with the various countries of the world and strengthening the position of the Council regionally and internationally. For his part, the GCC Secretary General expressed his appreciation for the efforts exerted by the Kingdom as the current presidency of the Gulf Cooperation Council to advance the joint Gulf cooperation process in order to achieve the aspirations of the leaders of the GCC states. He wished uh, the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, continued progress and prosperity. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Zayani, and the United Nations Resident Coordinator and the International Organization for Migration Chief of Mission, Mohammed Al Zarqani, designed the Strategic and Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework between Bahrain and the United Nations agencies. The Minister of Foreign Affairs affirmed that the Strategic and Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework is a continuation of the previous steps within the framework of continuous and growing cooperation between Bahrain and the UN in various fields and levels, and reflects the joint keenness to develop this cooperation in a way that supports the implementation of the government's plan and the Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 with its alignment with the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals, especially in light of the current circumstances and the efforts of Bahrain to combat the coronavirus pandemic. al Ziyani thanked the resident coordinator for his continuous efforts in preparing the framework in cooperation with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and all relevant government agencies and institutions. He also expressed his aspirations that this agreement would continue the constructive and continuous cooperation between Bahrain and the UN. For his part, the Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the efforts of the UN to sign the Strategic and Sustainable Development Cooperation Framework and described this initiative as an example of constructive cooperation between the UN and Bahrain. And he welcomed the new agencies in the updated version of the framework, which will enhance support and cooperation in future projects. The Minister of Information Ali bin Mohammed Ramihi participated in the 17th edition of the Arab Media Forum, which was held remotely with the participation of the Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abu Ghait, and a number of Arab media ministers in the presence of Arab media figures, writers, academics, and researchers. During the forum, the Minister of Information affirmed that the various professional challenges facing the Arab media makes developing the human capital, investing in national capabilities, developing legislations, and keeping up 
with technological developments and urgent necessity for the development of the Arab media discourse. He affirmed that the coronavirus pandemic has uh, proven the importance of Arab media and its effective role in promoting community awareness. At the same time, it showcased a state of global media chaos with the spread of rumors and contradicting opinions during a health crisis when only medical specialists and professionals should be consulted. The minister affirmed that the term freedom of speech is no longer used by media figures in light of the extent of media chaos, which urged media officials to request the regulation of social media to maintain their rights and the rights of others. He stated that there are companies that control and affect the freedom of expression globally because of their ownership of such social media platforms. Armehi stressed that the biggest challenge to Arab conventional and modern media is countering such campaigns against the Arab world, as well as rumors and sedition campaigns and that target the unity of Arab countries and societies by media outlets that adopt a foreign discourse. He also stressed that their goals will not be achieved if the Arab world consolidates enhanced social awareness and adheres to unifying national principles. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 941,674 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 791,054 had taken the second. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 28,527 with 2,579 recoveries and 2,375 registered new cases. 1,076 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,295 are contacts of active cases and four are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.